Youngstown City Council tonight was given a balanced budget without laying off anyone. The city has managed to cut $1.3 million. After all that, some on council are still not happy that a few areas could be getting less money. More details on balancing Youngstown's budget. Youngstown Finance Director Kyle Myazik went through all 24 cuts being proposed, like eliminating a fire department secretary, reorganizing the law department, and cutting 27,000 in overtime from fire and even more from police. He believes he can deliver on cuts of $150,000 in overtime. Also proposed, cutting $45,000 from the Federal Plaza Program Fund, money that supports many of the events, bringing people downtown. Councilman Julius Oliver says 45000 is too much. Having these, these shows in the downtown area basically is, is the fuel, part of the fuel that's driving Youngstown for come, its comeback right now. Each member of council will also get only $10,000 to spend at their discretion half of last year, cuts which Councilwoman Basha Adamzak and Anita Davis are opposed to. But I'm not going to be in favor of anything that's going to be detrimental to my ward. I'm not willing to let go of my discretionary funds. I have 12 neighborhood organizations that really rely on those funds. We use them a lot of times for leverage for grant funding. Unfortunately, we are going to have to take some cuts. But the main thing at the end of the day, all of the city employees will be working. Mayor Tito Brown says eventually changes will also have to be made to the union contracts. I think that we've come to a point where we've, we've priced ourselves um, above our revenues and we have to bring our we have to rein ourselves back in where we're living within our means. Also proposed was cutting forty thousand dollars in street department overtime for mowing grass. Councilman TJ Rogers questioned that one. High grass on vacant lots is a complaint those on Youngstown Council get often during the summer months.